Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to add your custom um, lighting control from a RGB LED lighting strip into your Harmony remote. Now I actually already have one added, um, but I'm going to be adding another one just to show you how it's done. So to clarify, I have my remote plugged in through the micro USB slot and I have the remote control to hand. So let's start on your devices. We're going to add a device. now. Even if you can find the manufacturer for your particular one, it's likely not in there. So I'm just going to add something generic and call it RGB light. Doesn't matter. Uh, and I'll call it mini because it's the mini controller I'm using. Add. Then it's going to go ahead and say it's found some other ones. Nope, I'm pretty sure I want to add my own. So, okay. Now the type of device is other. It controls my lights. And of course we have the remote, otherwise I wouldn't be adding it. Right, now it's going to ask for us to teach it the on-off command. Now as it happens, this one actually has an, a separate button for on and off, which we can't program in right now. We're going to do that. We're going to fix that later. But for now, simply hold it about 8 to 10 centimeters away from the remote and press the on button. And hopefully it will recognize it. You may get an error at this point. I've had to try about eight to 10 times in the past, but it looks like it worked beautifully. Okay, now we're gonna find our device, RGB Lights Mini. We're going to change the device settings and we're gonna change the power settings first. So this only applies if you have one of these smaller remotes with a separate on off button. Otherwise you can skip forward a bit to where we program custom commands. But first off, let's correct this one. So power settings doesn't turn on or off correctly. And I want to turn this device off when not in use. And using my original remote, change it here. I press two different buttons for on and off. There we go. So now we're going to have to program them again. So at click add command for power on. We're going to teach command again. We're going to just press down the on button. Click next first, then press down the on button. Yep, nope, there you go, we've got a problem. Let's try again. Sometimes it doesn't work first time, but don't worry. It should do eventually, there we go. Finish, and then power off commands. Oh, first off, I wanna change the uh, the duration to be about 0.5 seconds, just to make sure it's actually turned on, because when you're working with infrared devices, it doesn't always work that well, so this will keep the command on for, for half a second, just to make sure it gets through. And then we can go down to power off, add command, and this time we're gonna teach it the off button, obviously. So click next, and then hold down the, or just press the off button. Yep, there we go. Right, and again, we're gonna put that 0.5 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna finish that bit. So we've got the power sorted. Now if your command, if your remote doesn't have a separate on off button, you can skip forward to this point. And the next thing we're going to do is to add or fix commands. So now we want to add the commands for various colors. Now you can, I, I would skip through the list completely. It's just, it's got some pre-programmed numbers. You can just add your own missing commands instead. So let's see, basic white. Let's go for the white command first. So next you're going to find the white command on your remote and you're going to teach it. Very simple. There we go. Now I'm just going to do a few. The, the controller actually has like 20 different colors that you can put, but obviously I don't want to go through all of those. I'd suggest you just put the ones you like best. And so we're going to have a pink. Let's program that. Come on. No, oh, no, let's try again. No. Hmm. Okay, there we go. See, it can sometimes have a little bit of error in there. Uh, let me add one more command. I'll go for green this time. Obviously, for brevity, I'm not going to do every color I want, but just leave it at this. Press the green button.
Okay. Now I'm going to leave it there for now. Obviously you would add some more colors, but right now I'm going to go down to activities. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure that this lighting strip is added to whatever activity we want to use it on. So I have a lights on activity and this is what I use just for adding, just turning on white lights basically. So for that one, we're first going to go to change your settings. Skip through the icon and you can see here I've already got my other strip added and I want to include this new device in there as well. Now we can just done and then I want to click on lights on again and I want to customize this activity. Now this is where the real fun is. So on the activity startup commands you can notice I've already got one in here. I'm going to add another one now so add step now I want to say RGB lights mini command and I want them white. There we go. And I'm not going to add any shutdown commands, but if you, you could put them there if you wanted. By default, it's going to power them off. But if you wanted to switch them back to say a default white or whatever, if you change them, you would put that in the shutdown command. Um, if you don't see your RGB device in here, it means that you haven't done the previous step of adding it to this activity. I can show you that now. So once we've saved that, for example, let's click on watch TV and we're going to skip the first step and go straight to customize. And in that case, when we click add step, you're not going to see your RGB device because we haven't added it to this activity. So cancel, go back out and make sure you click on change your settings first. Next. And again, we want to include the RGB lights mini in this activity. So that just makes sure that it's going to turn on and you'll have to just click through next, next, next to get through all the default settings, how you had them set up before. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. And then once you've done that, click on the activity again and go to customize. And again, we're going to be able to select RGB lights mini command. And then we can set them up as whatever color we want. Let's go for a pink when we're watching TV. And there we go. Final thing to do, of course, is, is finish up all your activities. And then finally, make sure you sync with your remote and it should be all working. And if you want to see an example of it all working, you should be able to, I should have the video in the first part of this article. Okay, thanks.